Welcome to Evolve, Mastery for Leading a New World, with CEO and award-winning author, Yvette Bethel. This podcast is dedicated to supporting leaders with a variety of solutions to build trust, inspire authentic change, and improve morale within your organization. Learn how to grow your people, build your culture, and transform your results. Welcome to Evolve, Mastery for Leading a New World. I'm Yvette Bethel, and today's episode is about becoming agile. Jack Welsh once asserted, if the rate of change on the outside is greater than the rate of change on the inside, the end is near. This seemingly foreboding message is really saying that we need to keep up with the pace of our changing environments. This means we need to grow in terms of our knowledge, skills, and abilities and continuously challenge our belief systems so we can remain relevant. To be able to keep up with the rate of change, we need to be able to sort through all the changes happening in our individual realities and identify the ones that can impact us most in future and then adapt proactively. An internal rate of change can also refer to the pace of change that is internal to your team. Some teams are adaptive, versatile, able to recalibrate with ease. Others resist. And then there are those that have a mix of responses and reactions. Therefore, leaders with, and if it isn't broken, no need to fix it belief system, can be left behind because they are deliberately choosing to maintain the status quo. There is more and more pressure on organizations to become adaptive. The capacity of leaders to hold a vision of the future is still of primary importance, but with frequently shifting environments, agility is also needed to address emergent trends. So you can determine if there's a need for modification of your vision and your plan for achieving that vision. If leaders do not recognize an initial trend as one that will permanently change how they do business, and then it does, they run the risk of causing the failure of the business. Agility refers to your ability to think or move swiftly and gracefully. In the context of change, there are agile strategies that are responsive and thoughtful, considering multiple consequences and the existing vision. Reactive strategies can be agile also, even though sometimes they may not consider sufficient perspectives because of short timelines. Change is guaranteed. So organi- change is guaranteed. So organizations that are responsive, or even better, able to forecast changes and strategize without the pressure of immediate time constraints are in a position to develop a responsive strategy. Agility is becoming more and more necessary because relevance cannot be achieved by doing the same thing over and over because it worked in the past. Here are eight skills you can develop in order to become more agile. Skill number one, visioning. This skill is useful for establishing an initial vision and holding that vision for the organization. It also involves developing your ability to determine when a new or modified vision is needed prematurely because you're attuned to external forces. Skill number two, manage open communication channels. Effective communication skills and strategies are critical to creating and maintaining agility. If important information is not flowing to the persons implementing changes, this can create a substandard implementation or a lack of standardization. If important information is not facilitated from the bottom up, there can be unnecessary delays due to uncertainty and mistakes. Skill number three, suspend judgment. Negative bias can cause persons who are capable of expanded capacity to be marginalized. Conversely, positive bias can cause coworkers who lack foundational skills 
to be rewarded with more work and authority than they can handle. When there's unused capacity on one side and persons promoted beyond their level of competence on the other, morale issues and mistakes impact the pace and effectiveness of change plans. Skill number four, emotional resilience. A single news. Persons are more prone to adapting when they know what the change is beforehand. This is natural. Skill number six, a learning orientation. Leaders and team members should not only invest in their own development, they should also be attuned to the evolution of their environment so they can better predict the skills they will need to succeed in the present and the future. Even with the best planning and leadership in place, change brings ambiguity with it. This is because while planners can attempt to consider multiple scenarios, because people are involved, there can be a certain amount of unpredictability. Unpredictability can arise because of your overestimation of trust and engagement levels, or because you're overlooking an important step or possibility, or it can surface because of unclear communication. Managing through ambiguity means leaders need to be able to synthesize unfamiliar information quickly, using the facts they have at their disposal to make the best decision possible. And finally, skill number eight, attunement to culture. In order to be adaptive, you need to be aware of the norms that exist within your culture. This means you need to understand accepted behaviors, who the informal leaders are, systems, and prevailing emotions. With this information, you can create a plan that will not be compromised by cultural dynamics. Agile leaders are not only focused on success in the present, they are also attuned to the need for sustainable success in the future. Given our complex, dynamic world, agility is not a luxury. Dame Anita Roddick, founder of The Body Shop, summed it up in this way. Speed, agility, and responsiveness are the keys to future success. Thank you for joining me at Evolve, Mastery for Leading a New World. I invite you to join me this and every Monday for a new episode. In the meantime, remember, always continue to evolve. Thanks for listening to Evolve, Mastery for Leading a New World. Visit YvetteBethel.com to learn more about Yvette's leadership programs and to download her free gift, Success Tips for Igniting Your Career.